welcome to Megalithic Malls, the ongoing study of megalithic ruins, structures and anomalous objects discovered on Mars. Hello everybody, Jean here with another perplexing anomaly photographed on Mars. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter high-rise camera took this photograph at a site in Ariel Vallis, just to the north of Promethea Terra. This weird blue orb-like object. Let's have a look at the source, then I'll show you the anomaly. We'll be analyzing a real Vallis, that's what the high-rise photograph is called. Acquired on the 24th of January 2012 at a resolution of 51 centimeters per pixel with 2x2 binning. We'll be looking at images are cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file as well as the color strip. This is a crop from the low resolution black and white photograph. I'll also be showing you this strange symmetrical surface feature towards the end of the video. That strange blue orb is located about 800 meters to the north in this photograph. So for some context, Promethea Terra is located yet, and we have real Vallis in this region of Mars. The site we're looking at is right there at approximately 39 degrees, 47 minutes south, 98 degrees, 39 minutes east. And at the end of the video, I'll take you to the site and show you some of the other anomalies at sites surrounding this terrain. This is a crop from the RGB JP2 photograph opened in high view at actual size, one to one scale. And we'll be zooming in on the bright blue object located right there. And it's approximately three meters in diameter. So let's take a closer look. To the left, this is that bright blue object upscaled using Photo Zoom Pro 7. So a conventional image upscaler and to the right is that same bright blue or black anomaly upscaled using Gigapixel. And there it is up close. Check this out. A neat circular shape, very bright. There's no shadows on it that I can see, which says to me that this is a self-illuminating sphere or dome. So what could this be? Cosmic ray burst on the camera CCD, or could it be a physical object that was present on Mars at the time that they took this photograph. Very bright and it's got this strange light blue color to it. And it looks like it is spherical in shape. This bright blue part in the center there's nothing else like it in this photograph and it doesn't look like any of the boulders and rocks at this terrain. And then down to the south we've got this five-sided geometric and symmetrical surface feature. It's about 150 meters across and about 200 meters in length. So check out the geometry and symmetry going on here guys. Highly eroded. Could it have been some type of structure that's been devastated through catastrophes in Mars's distant past? There's definitely a Y shape here, and then these two sides. It's almost like a star shape. 
Right, let's zoom down to Real Vallis, to that site. Let's zoom out a bit to give you some context. So we have the region Promethea Terra located here to the bottom. And we have Real Vallis, this area here. And the photograph we analyzed. And here are the thumbnails I've pinned to Google Earth Mars. So let's check this out. About 300 kilometers to the east. At this site I found these strange spherical objects. Same size and shape, approximately 3 to 5 meters in diameter. This one's in a neat circular depression, and this one's in the center of a rectangular sort of base structure. Right, let's have a look at what else is here. I've still got to re-upscale these. Yeah, we're looking at megalithic blocks with protrusions or knobs on them. That's why I call it megalithic Mars. We've got megaliths all over the surface. So is this a self-illuminating spherical object or dome? Is it on the surface or is it hovering above the surface? Could that there be a shadow? If you look at the shadows that all these rocks and boulders cast, they definitely go down in this diagonal direction. Very odd, totally out of place. And could this be a highly eroded pyramidal feature on the surface? Before I sign off, I just want to say welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy this work and research. I look forward to reading your comments. And as always, thanks for watching.